first, and I'll do the live transcript as well. All right, well, welcome to the May 10th, May 11th metrics model meeting for the chaos community. It's great to have everybody here. Um, we had a few action items from last time, and it looks like there's going to be some demos today um, around safety and funding. So that would be cool to see those. Um, we've just kind of as a note to uh, for everybody on this call, we've been really talking about the metrics model uh, working group and the work that's being done and kind of the structure that's occurring. And we were talking about that in the community call today. So really well received. I, I think the work that we're doing is right on target. A lot of things that people are interested in. So it's good validation that I think a lot of people like the work that we're doing. So absolutely. Um, Regava, do you want to, do you want to, could you put the link to your PR in the minutes? So Regava was going to start structuring the folder around welcoming this the way that we had talked about last time, the proposed structure, I think June, you, I had forget, I forgot who had done it. Can, can she just uh, uh, add the PR for, for the oh, funding? Okay, I think gotcha. June, June will add it later, right, June? Gotcha. Well, then following the model that Xingqi had put forward. So thank you for that. I'm going to share my screen here. All right. So this was the obviously the structure that, that we had talked about last time that Xingqi had put together and, and we had talked about and agreed upon. Um, there is a PR here. For so is this is this the PR Regawa? No, you're muted, Regawa, or I can't hear you. No, no. It's my pull request. I see. Um, yeah, you're. I commit it yesterday. Okay. Gotcha. Is somebody you, merging that? Do you want me to merge that? Yeah, could you tell us maybe what it's about? The PR, just a little bit. It looks like you're merging uh, okay. JSON work. Yeah. Um, and the, I have committed a IPython file um, about a Jupyter notebook. Uh, I will share with you later. Um, about a uh, uh, funding metric model gotcha. and uh, the following um, to JSON file it's the uh, some data uh, help me to analyze the funding metric model okay gotcha so this is for a new metric model yeah okay. actually this metrics model it's a uh, it's uh, created by us by Ima and yes it's, yeah okay. it's, uh, it's part of sustainability gotcha yeah. okay okay so these sean i think this is easy enough to merge and you can go ahead and do that all right you're merging it is merged uh-huh okay <laughs> thank you Regava, are you back? No, nope, still can't hear you. That's okay, Regava, we'll come back. Nope, still can't hear you. Oh. I see you. Okay. <laughs> I see you just fine. Yeah. All right. Maybe the the next thing. This is these are leftover action items from last time. So one was how to use a notebook and JSON file to see community results. And if I recall this conversation, it was about how do we really kind of think about other people having access to 
these notebooks and JSON files to, to see the results that we're talking about. So Sean, I know you've given this some thought mm -hmm. as to how to, like, how do we bridge um, the, the metrics that are developed as documents into, you know, something along these lines, right? So we have this to get it to people that can actually work with or see the results. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I, I think what the example, the example there in, in that notebook that you were just showing is a really good example of how to do that because effectively it can function without a database connection or having to collect data and you can see what it does. And that's one of the reasons I really liked this approach the last time we talked about it. I think, I think the other question you might be alluding to is we have all of these metrics, many of which at, upon reflection and having a metrics model working group might actually evolve into metrics models from metrics. Were you also talking about that? Or did I jump the shark? Yeah, no, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I think in those cases, it's a, it's a process and the process starts, I think, with updating the metrics as metrics, just so that they're current and have current examples. And over time, I think we have to move, we, we would move some of the more complex or composite metrics into metrics models, but I don't think we want to do that all at once or throw all of those potential metric models that are now metrics, quote unquote, over the wall, because this group and the other working groups would be overwhelmed by that. And I think it would put some of the core value that chaos brings, which is this taxonomy of metrics, um, it would confuse people. And so I just think we would, I, I suggest we proceed slowly and deliberately and not quickly, because I think moving quickly will cause more confusion than value. Okay. I, I agree. I think the utility that comes from the metrics model working group is in deployed solutions. And if we just create a lot of noise around yeah. a lot of potential metrics models, that's not going to help the cause really helping people understand how to use metrics in practice. Yeah, I agree. Um, so basically, the, this this conversation, uh, Yehui and, and others on the call, um, really what this comes from is in the past, we had developed metrics, which we would call atomic metrics. And so those were metrics that were kind of these low level granularity things. Like I always go to like age of an issue, you know, it's like this thing that you can just measure and it's this, it's a very low level item. Before the metrics model working group, we would also develop what we call um, composite metrics. And they were exactly like what they sound like. They were metrics that were kind of a collection of other metrics and so what we're learning as we kind of go through and review our old metrics what have been released as metrics you've seen this right when you've done the translations that these there are more complex metrics and there's more atomic metrics yeah. we ultimately want to move these uh these composite metrics into the metrics model working group because that's really what they are they are metrics models but we need to be careful not to just say to the metrics model working group. Here's 40 comp composite metrics, you know, have fun with that and you fix it. So we're trying to be pretty thoughtful on how we do that. Mm -hmm. um, the other the other kind of question I have, uh, I think around this is, is how do we, like what's the end of the line that we provide in the metrics model working group in terms of deployment for other people? So if we have an individual from a company that comes to the metrics model working group and they say, I would like to understand in this case, um, you know, community activity. Mm -hmm. So how far do we go? Do we just say, here's a Jupyter notebook, <laughs> like here's the, here's the folder that you need to, to do this deployment. Or do we say, here's a, a, 
uh, a public facing instance where you can run this model? Do we say we're happy to work with you as kind of a consultancy group to deploy this for the repositories you're interested in? Uh, I, I think yeah. here we give some uh, give the uh, 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 verification uh, with the real world data from yeah. from some communities, and okay. also uh, as you mentioned, if there are some new community managers like uh, people from new uh, any other communities, they may come up to say, okay, how how can I use this uh, metrics model? Uh, I think we can give some um a consultancy service something like that that's forced that that's one way and uh, another way is that because we provide some data schema uh in our uh just uh notebook so if they already have such ability to to collect such data they can easily to uh Collect by themselves, no matter use the Augur, Grim Lib, or any other tools okay. we already have got. But if they haven't already, I think Shen, uh, you already provide some Augur service for that. And uh, and uh, in my part, we can also provide similar the Grim Lib service or something like that to help people to collect some data to let them to, uh, to to show the the ability of, of one okay. metrics model. Okay, I like that. Um, Vinod, you had your hand raised. Did you want to say something? Yes, I had one thought. Like uh, looking, uh, listening to the previous discussions too. So the discussion was like we have some model to show that what is the applicability, which we can test it on our own repository, like on Kiosk uh, repository, to show what is it like. And maybe a second step, if somebody is really interested and want to continue, then we can either provide an instance or some support uh, in implementing them or guiding them and hook them with a software team will be a, a two-step option for them. Okay. I think that's, so you're kind of agreeing with what Yahui was saying, I think. Yes. Okay. Sean, did you have thoughts on this too? I don't know if you've been. I think I'm. I, I, <clears throat> I am in favor of that approach. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just to give the thumbs up. Yes. Okay. Um, could I ask? I think this is kind of important. Um, Would any, I mean, I could probably take this on. I think it's important that we that we message this, believe it or not, as to what we are providing in the metrics model working group. And, and I think we're coming, I, th I think we agree kind of what we can provide, but we need to be really clear to people that this is more than just a markdown file. <laughs> like we are providing sample data and fully deployable notebooks. And if that's not enough for you, we can provide additional service to help you kind of localize this for your needs. And I think we need to articulate that so that people fully understand what it is that we provide. Because I think there's some inconsistency as to how people understand what we are doing in the metrics model working group. And if we all agree to that, that's great. <laughs> but then we can just be consistent that a a metrics model includes the documentation, it includes sample data, it includes a notebook, and we can do, we, there's kind of a, a range of things that we can provide. I, 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 and I think we got a lot of new new people joined our community. I would like to invite them to help us do so. Yes. Uh, and I, I totally agree. I, we provide a metrics model and we provide a verified result with some uh, real world data and uh, and the uh, result uh, and the uh, reading and uh, we also provide consultancy service something like that 
Yep. And th that's the whole things we provide for people in our, from our metrics model group. Yes, because I think from a metrics group perspective, the farthest we go is we provide a definition of a metric. <laughs> that's it, and then we stop. Mm -hmm. But we don't really provide consultancy around a metric, or we don't provide really deployable metrics. That's not what the metrics model, or I'm sorry, that's not what the metrics working groups really do, which no. is fine. Yeah. It's totally, it's completely fair. We define 70 metrics. So I, I like what you, I like this. Okay. Okay, good. Um, I'll, I'll kind of write this up for next time. Just so we're consistent on what we're providing. Okay. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, June. Do, do we have to um, provide the JSON file is a requirement? And do we support other, other format file? Sure. If it's, uh, it, it can be processed by notebook or Jupyter. It's, I think it's okay. Do you have some uh, any other new ideas for the data format, except uh, Jason? Because uh, I just uh, read some studies, uh, safety, safety, safety metric module. In this module, um, uh, the most uh, data from survey. So, survey, okay. Yes, yeah, so they have not just uh, JSON like this. I, I can also share as just a brief sidelight that I think there's a group of folks in open source, including Red Hat Software and the folks in Kubernetes who are working on a project called San Diego, where they're going to deliver chaos metrics using uh, something called Dash, which is a Python implementation of Plotly. And there may they may join us at some point to share what they've done. I am not advocating for that, but I think that the work that they're doing is closely aligned with the work that we're doing. And when they are ready to share or talk and they have the brain power to engage, I think it might be interesting. You have me intrigued. I don't know about this. <laughs> what <laughs> These are the yeah, this is the these are the folks at Red Hat that I've been primarily with. I've been working through Red Hat, but there's a lot more folks involved. Um, I'm showing them how to. They've been doing the dash part, and I've been showing them how to get data. Okay. Okay. That's okay. very interesting. Yeah, I, I agree. I want to know more. Um, all right. So, all right. Cool. Um, I know we have a couple of demos that we want to take a look at today, but I just had one more one more item from last time. Um, an ability to get community data. So it's part of this conversation that we're having. It's about um, providing real world data against the metric model so that people can understand what the model looks like in practice, I think yeah. is really what this is about. Um, I do know that at the chaos community, we are happy to, to be a, a place of, of questions around metrics models. So, I mean, I think the chaos community would be a, a, a good community to potentially take a look at. Do, do other people have thoughts on how we could go about getting community data that would be this real world implementation? Well, I mean, it's, if it's an open source project, it's pretty easy. <laughs> okay. Do you mean yeah. by community data, do you mean something other than the trace data? Are you talking about surveys, for example? Because when I say it's relatively easy, I do mean the trace data from the platforms. Me too. <laughs> it, obviously, it's harder if we're talking about survey data or, or demographic. But okay. for the sur survey data, if this, uh, if some communities, they would like to, uh, to contribute to, to, to the chaos or to our metrics model, they are also welcome to contribute such data, but uh, the most uh, in the most cases, uh, the data we mentioned is like like Shen mentioned is trace data from the public area. 
And I, and I think we would, we would be fairly challenged from just a pragmatic GitHub hosting perspective if we tried to provide large scale data within our repository, because at that point, I don't want to get super technical, but you're, you're going to have to use something called Git LFS, which then also makes the repository more complex to clone and use. So you can store large data in the Git large file system format, but you have to have that installed locally and know how to operate it. And if you don't, then it can cause problems. So I, I do think we want to have small samples in this repository and perhaps ultimately maybe some more hosted kinds of solutions which exactly yeah. uh, for in the in in this structure i mean in under the uh, implement implementation folder we have data such data is the sample data to to use to verify the matrix model but uh, if if you uh, um, are going to to figure out the the more um, more enriched data, you need to get some place to store such uh, big amount of data. Uh, like uh, uh, um, we use we in the last two meet, uh, meetings, we we mentioned that um, we would like to uh, provide some services from Open Open Ruler and also the storage service from Open Ghost to provide such, such service to store the data if uh, we need such service. And uh, we can do in that step by step. But uh, as far as we can, as far as we know that we can just uh, start from the notebook sample data. And later on, we can store more data uh, okay. from uh, in, in our data, data storage service. Yeah, we make our load load notebook. Um, we make our notebook uh, example more useful, and then we will start to um um implement uh, our provider server. Yeah, actually, doing it the it's the interface uh with the, with these uh communities. I mean the open calls. Uh, she has talked to the community manager. They would like to contribute some uh, some of their services uh, to 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 chaos. So later on, uh, I mean, after that, we can we can see how to use this data storage service to store mm -hmm. our data. Yes, I do remember that conversation. So thank you for that. And I think Sean yeah. might have an interest in. That. Yeah, I mean, we're, we've um, we've explored um, Microsoft's Azure service. We we don't have credits that last beyond the end of this month, though. So it it's um it's not been as uh, it's it's it was a very short term commitment. So it was uh, very hard to implement and and show utility in the time period that we had those credits so gotcha. uh, i'm still searching for uh, other opportunities well, for, this might for be hosted right yeah here. yeah for okay. hosted services okay uh, maybe you could talk with june and Kihui through slack and just see what that mm -hmm. is that might yeah. be a conversation for that yeah yep. i'd be happy to do that and okay happy to help Get the auger part set up and and perhaps configure some some ways that we can dump the JSON files following the the example that was set in their metrics model. Okay, right on. Thank you. Um, one quick question on this. So I did bring this up. So if we rely on for the notebooks, if we rely on freely available trace data. I'm thinking about what you had put together, Yehui, with respect to your own insights that you were drawing on some of the data that you were looking at. You know what I mean? You had written those mm -hmm. those paragraphs around insights that could be drawn. Is it? Do you think it's going to be necessary for us to talk to the communities to draw out what those insights are, or do you think that's something that we can do as a group here? You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. 
I think it, it, it would be great. Uh, we can show that. Uh, you, you mean we can demo it on, in the community meeting or? I, yeah, so I'm wondering, so like my concern is, is that like I've been in talks before where I've seen somebody who is not part of a community give a talk about that community based on data that they received from online trace data. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's a person, say it like me, I'm giving a talk about a community that I'm not a member of, but I've, I've collected online trace data. And I'm giving a presentation and I'm telling the audience what's what about that community. But in the audience are members of that community. <laughs> and they say things like, I see what you're trying to say, but you're wrong because right. you didn't talk to us to truly understand the context of the data that you're looking at. So I, I'm wondering how much we need to talk with the communities as we draw insights from the trace data that we're looking at. That's all. Yeah, that would be great. So we may want to think about that as we're collecting data, sample data, and putting together metrics models that have insights that we may want to try to speak to some community members and they would probably appreciate it to be honest with you. So yeah, yeah. Might just be something to think about. Yeah. I think it's for a lot of this, it's, I think important to get evaluated. So, you know, it's an important evaluation step to have the community indicate if the insights we're generating have sort of face validity. <laughs> <They're actually> <laughs> well, well, there's, yeah, that they hold face validity at least. And yeah. I, ideally that they provide an insight that they otherwise were not aware of. Sure. And that they agree with a, yeah. a fair conclusion to draw. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Great. Uh, this is very helpful. I'm sorry for kind of getting stuck on some of these details, everybody, but I just, it's, I get asked these things throughout the week. I just want to make sure that we're clear on our messaging. That's all. Um, all right. So we have a couple uh, demos. Uh, June, did you want to mm -hmm. go first? Do you want me to to just pull this up or do you want to share your sure. screen? What's easier for you? Okay. Share my screen. Okay. I'll, we can do that. I will stop my share and I will make you co-host. Okay. You should be good now. Okay, I will share my screen. Can I see this? Yep. Yes, I don't know. Um, nope. Yeah. I see your minutes. I see the minutes, not your. Okay. Not the um, I just uh, write, um, show the demo about the uh, safety match module. And uh, we could see our uh, safety metric module. And we have a lot of uh, metric in safety. It means uh, um, in this metric module, uh, we have to we have to know um, what is the uh, um, technical um, project uh, safety. And uh, in this metric module, we have, you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six, six metric uh, in this metric module. And uh, in, in this metric module, we, the most of the debt um, also from the survey. It means that if we want to get uh, the inclusive, such as if we want to get inclusive leadership um, metric that, and we have to, um, we have to get survey that, or maybe we have to get a checklist. So um, in my demo, I choose uh, um, sur survey. Let me see it. For example, I just uh, I just uh, use the, this uh, inclusive leadership survey as an example. And this is our uh, this is my our steps. The step one we will um, give some a survey to to which people to this people 
to to these people, for example, maybe project maintainer or some other contribute contributor in our community. So we give give um several people survey, and our survey our survey content is uh, like this. And we will ask in survey, we will ask um, maybe maintainer and what the review or renew is. Maybe we will ask him this question and our auditorship rules limited by time. And we will give them some score in this question. We will give them one to uh, zero, zero to five, and he can get one number about this question. Maybe he think the leadership role limited by time is uh, not good. So maybe he can give the number two or some three. So this is uh, our step. So you can just we list uh, this is our debt. We list our debt maybe in this in this metric. Um, we separate uh, this uh, structure. One, two, three, four, five, six, yep. seven. Yeah, seven. And uh, in each in each metric we have. Um, maybe this three um, smaller metric, so we can give give this a survey number. And uh, in, we use this survey number. We can use our normalization. Normalization. Okay. So we could get uh, the the uh, each metric. We can get a score. And we can um, compare from we can compare from two different uh, survey. This is uh, uh, this survey will be uh, a little different from other metric because uh, and this because this metric model this metric is will not change fast. So we only have to get survey that. From each month, or maybe half, uh, maybe half year, like this. So, <clears throat> so um, we can say our, so we can say our the results. We can say our realization, and we can say each each metric, and we, um, for different uh, different months. And you can say in this distribution of leaders is uh, uh, slow and uh, yeah, yeah and then we, we can use the in in this visualization we can see different months results and in this we can see only one month's result for each metric so um we have another we have another angle and we can also say the we implementation the uh, safety metric is because uh, in uh, project safety we have uh, um, five five metric so we can say our uh, inclusive leadership what what changes, and we can easy to get what the um board what the board or maybe inclusive governance what changes like this, and so so we can easy to see what what the um ecologic safety metric is uh, and de decreasing. This is my. So, yes, so survey 
can't be that frequent. Like, yeah. Um, so June, this is great because it really helps me overcome something that I was struggling with, which is how do we approach metrics models that are survey driven? That, that's yeah. something that I've been struggling with for a long mm -hmm. time. And I think this, this really helps in that regard. So thank you for that. Um, I think it was easier for me to see metrics models that were driven by trace data. You know what I mean? Like I could visualize yeah. those better in my mind. Um, yeah. I, I think surveys are really challenging to me. And this, what you're telling me is that, that this can be captured in a, in a notebook still um, and, and be mm -hmm. distributed the same way that we distribute other metrics models. Um, the execution of the model is obviously a little bit different. You know what I mean? That it's the collection of data is, is going to be different, but this really helps me overcome a challenge I was having. So thank you for that. I, th I think the periodic execution of the survey monthly would probably lead to survey fatigue in the long run. But, I, you know, a couple times a year, I think, you you know, the ability to store and see trends is, I think, incredibly valuable. Yeah. Also, you have to prepare for survey for a longer time than mm -hmm. the, just the tracing the data on the public area. You have to prepare the question mm -hmm. and to prepare the answer answer mechanism. Exactly. You already start this survey every half years, or like you mentioned, every year. No, not that frequent. Yeah. yeah, we we could uh, um, uh, use our result to change, maybe change like like Ye Hui said maybe we could change our um, question use the more uh, useful useful way to describe how to how to describe our question can be can be translated with uh, with value i mean yeah yeah the score. yeah, yeah. Super, it's super fascinating thank you so much for this yeah um, <laughs> uh, uh, I have, uh, June, I have a comment. So I really like the approach of taking this and showing this data. I just wanted to know, is this a dummy data that you are showing just for the understanding purpose or is it a real data that mm -hmm. you have gotten from your community? Yeah, this is for our maintainer and the contributors mm -hmm. survey. So this is an actual data? Yeah. Oh, great. That is wonderful. Yeah, but but uh, we get a small, small survey debt. So maybe we could get, um, in the last, we could get more. I do, I, I do wonder, and this could be something to think about, but I do wonder about in the data repository, you know how we have the sample data? that is provided. There are some metrics models that um, communities may not want to share their data. So, so if every <laughs> if every year they show that <laughs> their project is getting less safe, <laughs> that yeah. may not be something they want to show. But it's just something to think about. Yeah, I, I agree. So yeah. for such data, we have to ask the uh, see to willing to contribute such sample data to our chaos community. Otherwise, we cannot no. <laughs> just say Let's look at how badly see. they're doing. So yeah. <laughs> OK, but I think that's I think that's all fair. Great. This is great, June. Like I said, you really helped me overcome a challenge that I was having by showing me this. So this is really wonderful. Agreed. This is great. So is the notebook then, what you're showing us is this, how is this deployable? So you, how does this work mechanically? So do you deploy a survey using your favorite survey tool and then import the data, make the data available to the notebook? Like, how does this work? For survey, we have our uh, survey tool, server tool to get the, the original dates. So what tool um, was that? Is there a form that the data needs to be in? Maybe some um, other tools, some sentence survey. 
like Survey Monkey, we, yeah. we used to do that, and we can got the uh, Excel uh, format. Okay. And uh, we 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 do some tra translate, uh, to yeah. to the to the data like Jun uh, shared here on this fo uh, folder structure. Okay. okay. Uh, and uh, we import it import it in uh, into the notebook. Okay. Yeah. So do we need to have a process by which data is transformed from SurveyMonkey or from Google Forms or from? Sure, I think we can add some explanation on that to to uh, yeah. to to okay. how to do there, so. Yeah, there there are a lot of tools. Uh, to that would be good. I know that like with Augur, I mean, the work that Sean does, pulling the data from GitHub and then transforming the data into something that is consistent is a tremendous amount of work. Mm -hmm. And I would imagine we need probably a similar process here that irrespective of the data collection tool, that we need we need to get it into a standard format. Maybe Jun, we you, you can you can uh, refactor your the whole uh, code structure to make it more uh, uh, easy to understand and uh, and uh, create a pull request to like like us to to review it. It would be really helpful for us. I think so. Okay, okay maybe next time. Oh. Yeah, yeah. What I was I was thinking too. Uh, do, June, are you going to be in the Asia Pacific call on Wednesday of next week too? Okay. Okay. I mean, personally, I'd like to start using some of that time to continue to talk about metrics models because we're all exactly. here. And <laughs> it's just we can keep it going on a week by week basis. Sometimes I feel every two weeks is yeah. I mean, it'd be great to talk about this then as well. I mean, maybe we could pick up the pace. Not not that you're being slow because you're being very fast, but I'm just saying keep the tempo going um, week by week. So yeah, cool. yeah. So I I just want to uh, answer Matt's question about why why community will show the nothing. Yeah, <laughs> maybe because uh, they know how to resolve it, and uh, maybe yeah. the next time they. Uh, will show them how to resolve it and uh, raise their um, safe, safe score and uh, increase their safe score, maybe. Yeah, this. I agree. I mean, if they can show improvements over time, yeah. and then yeah. we can really start drawing what those insights are as to what was what we're seeing and maybe what was done. I mean, then then we're getting into that that the graphic again from information to knowledge to insight to wisdom. And if we can show improvements, I agree. That's great. Cool. Um, any other questions for June? Great, thank you, June. Um, we do have one more, we have a minute. <laughs> this always happens with this group. Um, uh, we have a about funding. So um, Ching Chi, do you wanna, do you have time to show us what you've been working on? Chenqi, maybe you can quickly go through your solution. I, I think it's more similarly, uh, similarly like uh, what we have done for community activity. Okay. Right. Chenqi, could you share your screen and uh, quickly share with us your solution? Mm -hmm. uh, I will share my solution quickly. Um, um, I try to uh, analyze some funding metric model, uh, and I have uh, commit a pull request. And uh, uh, in this metric model, uh, they pay more attention to the uh, um, organization. So I try to analyze the following uh, metric metrics, uh, because uh, the data, the raw data has already uh, in my data source, so I can get the result about this uh, metric uh, in a short time. Uh, and the field structure uh, is still uh, similar 
to uh, community activity, and there are uh, data insight, data set, and uh, algorithm. And uh, the algorithm is empty now. Uh, I will um, try to uh, implement it in the next uh, period. Uh, and uh, uh, I have uh, show uh, I have implement uh, um, some metric about uh, organization uh, this diversity. And uh, the first. Uh, uh, it is about uh, the the contributions of each uh, each organization, and uh, uh, this um, this figure uh, we could see the percentage of contributions uh, by different organizations, and uh, the following metric is. Uh, about uh, the type of uh, contributions. And uh, the first is about uh, uh, issue, um, <coughs> issue contribute organization. And uh, we could see the growth of the count of organization. And the second is about uh, the uh, pull request contribution. Uh, and the third is the, um, the number of organizations of Git commit contributions. Uh, by this figure, uh, we could see the growth of organization count uh, by different data source. And the, um, um, following uh, and these matrix models um, are all be implemented in, in a short time uh, because uh, when we have the definition of this metric model and uh, we could uh, uh, see uh, we could get the visualization in a short time uh, okay that's uh, um, what i want to share so th thank you for sharing this this is wonderful so this is with the open Euler community, right? Um, okay, the <clears throat> data source is about open ruler. Yeah, okay. And so is this is this <coughs> the funding? Is this a metric model that <coughs> has been built out by this group <coughs> quite a bit? I'd have to pull it up. Um the metric model is built in this document. Okay, okay I see it. Okay, so we have organizational influence, types of contributions. Okay, so, all right. This is interesting because this will, here, I'm gonna share my screen for a second. I'm sorry, I'm gonna go. So this is the metric model. This is the funding metric model. Yes, it's a, uh, it's uh, from, it's, it's defined by Emma and uh, some yeah. people from us. Okay. We, we select some of the metrics from this metrics model to, yep. to give this verified result. So what are your thoughts on like some, like if I pick this one, like labor investment. Mm -hmm. So like Shang-Chi, I can see what you're doing and by selecting some of them, like how do we accommodate a metric that maybe we can't get <laughs> or that? Um... Um, yeah, for, for, for the limitation of the data, data source, uh, we only can get uh, some public data from yeah. the public area. So like labor investment, investment it's, um, uh, it's kind of hard. Yeah, for us to 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 fetch those data, especially Agreed. from the different communities. So, so mm -hmm. the, the most easy way for us is for the trace data. I, yep, yeah. and that's yeah. fair. So, do you think and that then, there's? Oh, go ahead. Yeah, wait, I'm uh, sorry. If for the internal usage, uh, I mean, of course we have much more data for mm -hmm. the 
for the community. Yeah, uh, we are not going to, for, for example, in one community, we are not going to uh, explode those data publicly. Yeah. We just use metrics model in our, in our community internally, share with the people internally because okay. it's some privacy data. Sure. But that's why. Okay. So do you think, do you think it's worth for the metrics model saying from a, from a chaos deployment perspective, here's a Jupyter notebook, like what Cheng Chi had put together. And here's the collection of some of the metrics. Please understand that there are other metrics that yeah, come yeah, to, of course. we don't collect them, but so that's one option. The other option is to, to simply remove this from the model and just say, we don't, we don't care about it. You know what I mean? So one option, one option, is, to, one option is to remove the, getting a lot of feedback all of a sudden. One option is to remove the metric from the model. The other option is to add a disclaimer that we don't collect that metric. Actually, for for as I mentioned, some data is a uh, is a uh, not yeah. publicly. So I, but it's still useful. Okay. So I I would not to uh, I would avoid uh, just to simply removing. Okay. I'm with you. I agree. I agree. We add a disclaimer by saying, as part of the chaos release, we don't provide this, but you may want to provide that as you look at this model um, yeah, yeah. specifically. Okay. I, I agree. I just wanted to make sure we were all in agreement. Okay. Cool. Um, Shang Chi, that's, that's great. Um, are you in uh, June? Can you, I think, are you ready to think about? Some PRs. We have the start of funding here. Yeah, sure. Just to help Chen Chi merge the code. <laughs> okay. 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 Good. All right. Perfect. All right. Great. Um, well, as always, we're we're out of time. We're seven minutes over. Um, thank you for the demos, Chen Chi and June. That was really wonderful. And like I said, I really helped me overcome a challenge that I was having. And it'll be nice to think about that. Um, uh, next time, we, maybe we can see the Regos uh, um, yeah. Vietnamese presentation. Yeah, I, yeah. Your, your, your phone, your iPhone is uh, is to recover. That'll work. All right. Till next time, everybody. Thank you so much, and have a great day. I hope the rain <laughs> stops for you, Yahoo. <laughs> okay. Take care. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.